Who inspires you? Your mother? Your child? Inspiration comes in many forms, and at WBGU-TV, you inspire us to bring entertaining and educational programming to our region. Get inspired, stay inspired. Huber was a big factor in building roads in America, and places like the Panama Canal, the Hoover Dam, New York subways, even the St. Lawrence Seaway was dug with Marion shovels, and Marion, Ohio helped put man on the moon. But the most interesting thing about this museum is the fact that everything here was built in my hometown. Hi, I'm Anna Mae Schwaderer, and we're at the Edward Huber Machinery Museum in Marion, Ohio. We display all the equipment that was built by Edward Huber including the Marion Steam Shovel. Edward Huber was born in Dearborn, Indiana. When he was 14 years old, his father apprenticed him out to a blacksmith because his father was a wagon maker and he wanted him to learn to do the metal. After three weeks, he came home and told him, I know everything there is, I can do it. And from then on, he started inventing things. He invented a hay rake in 1865 and his sister had married a man in Marion, Ohio, so she wrote and told him that we had lots of trees, so he would be able to get the lumber to build those hay rakes. And that's how he ended up in Marion, Ohio, starting the factory that put Marion on the map. This hay rake was important because a farmer could then rake a lot faster and get his hay put up. You know the old saying, make hay while the sun shines. Well, <laughs> this enabled them to do that. After his wooden hay rake, he invented a threshing machine and a steam engine. In the 1890s, he had a gas tractor on the market. Uh, he only built 30 of them. And then 1916, they come out with a tractor with the engine sideways. And in 1926, they put it the way we know all tractors are today. And by 1930, you could get a tractor with rubber tires. It was so much easier not plowing a field and clump, 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 clump. How uncomfortable that would be with a steel wheel. I think my favorite piece is the last tractor ever built in Marion, Ohio. With the serial number, we can prove that it was the last tractor ever built in Marion. During the Second World War, of course, they didn't build farm equipment. They went to strictly road rollers before the gas tractors were built. They had the same steam engine for farming was used to roll roads also. They even shipped steam engines to Egypt in 19, early 1900s. How? I don't know how they get steam engine on, on a boat, but the, we have the records to show that they did. My favorite picture in this place is one of what is called the Mountaineer. It's the biggest shovel that Marion shovel ever built, and it decided is a real train, and the people in the picture look like ants. Nearly everything in this museum was donated to us. Uh, There's only a few things that we purchased. We have a model of just about everything they built. We gotta be about done anyway, don't we? <laughs> oh, there's one, the most important thing that we haven't hit upon. The most important thing I think to ever come out of Marion, Ohio, is the crawler at Cape Canaveral. That was a shovel built right here in Marion. And every rocket that has ever been fired up has been taken out on these two crawlers. Everyone that works here is a volunteer. Nobody gets paid for anything. We do it because we want to preserve Marion history. I think it's important to preserve this equipment because otherwise it's going to go to the junkyard, be melted down, and be lost forever. And 50 years from now, people will never know what started Marion, Ohio. Scenic Stops is brought to you by WBGU-TV. Support great local programming by giving now at wbgu.org pledge.